First I took my egg and decided to draw a face on it just to give a little bit of character. This is also optional, but I asked people on Instagram and Twitter what we should name the egg. Then I took the bottom of a cut bottle and put quarters into the bottom to counter the weight that the egg would put on the top. I also put cotton pads on the bottom so the egg wouldn't be sitting directly on the quarters. I used a plastic bag and folded it up so I can wrap it around the egg to give extra protection. Then I placed the egg inside and got ready to put it into the rest of the structure. It took quite a bit of wedging to get it in there. Now the structure is together and with the quarters in the bottom, the structure is less likely to flip over during the drop and break the egg. Now onto the drop. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, I know it sounded bad, and we all thought that he broke, but guess what? He did not. And I didn't record me opening it, because we all thought he broke, and I was sad. I didn't record, like, after the drop, but Jerry freaking survived. We all thought that he broke. Not even, not even a crack, like, at all. I don't know what to do with this guy now, but he is the man. And the man he is, a resilient little dude, he refused to die, even from a six foot one drop in a structure smaller than five inches by five inches by five inches, made with four recycled materials. I even commemorated this moment by hollowing him out and drying him so I can keep him forever.